in this video, I will solve your doubts about how to change the debounce time on Razer Synapse and whether or not it is possible to do this. The debounce time is a setting that a lot of people would like to be able to change, especially Minecraft players. You can get an advantage by changing this, so you might be curious on how to access this setting inside of Razer Synapse or other gaming software like Logitech G Hub and so on. Well, if you try to open Razer Synapse, and you go into your device, so as long as it is connected to your PC, you will find it here. You choose your specific mouse. The first thing that you will see under Customize is the option to change the button assignments. So for example, you can decide what each of these buttons do. You can assign different profiles for different games and control each action individually. Now, in here, there is no mention of changing the debounce time. So what about performance? If you switch over to performance, once again, you see polling rate, sensitivity, mouse properties, and again, no mention of debounce time. Lighting refers to RGB, and then calibration will only help the sensor itself. So as it stands today, how do you actually change the debounce time? Do you have to download the newer versions of Razer Synapse, like Razer Synapse 4, or do you have to get a node one? Is it locked to specific models, or is it impossible? Well, sadly, the harsh reality and the answer to the question in the title of this video is that the debounce time is not a software feature. This is related to the firmware on your mouse. Because of this, no piece of software like Razer Synapse will give users the option to change this. You will not be able to use Synapse or any other means to change this. As it stands today, most modern mice, especially the ones from Logitech, Razer and so on, lock the option to change the debounce time. If you really wish to manage this, or if you wish to double click to try to get an advantage, it would be better to buy an old mouse, some of the older models from Razer or Logitech, which might allow you to use certain scripts, but changing the debounce time on Razer Synapse and the software is impossible. I hope I was able to answer any questions that you had on how to change debounce time on Razer Synapse. The purpose of this video is not to spread misinformation, but to let people be aware about the limitations of doing this. If this video cleared up any questions that you had, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more very easy tips. Thank you for watching!